to it. So, recently, um, I'm sure you guys have uh, heard about uh, the Atriox situation. Uh, just to give a quick rundown for, for those of you who don't know, um, there is a, a high profile streamer. Um, his name is Atriox. I, I, I don't know what he does, I've never watched him before. Um, but, you know, apparently he's a big streamer, and, uh, recently he, he, um, was caught, um, uh, because, uh, during his stream he accidentally displayed for, like, a few seconds, uh, um, uh, deep fake porn of, uh, Pokimane and, uh, Maya, um, who are also, uh, big streamers, uh, big, uh, you know, female streamers, and, uh, this, you know, unleashed a whole bunch of a controversy, you know, and, and discourse surrounding around, you know, what Atrioc did and, um, you know, the ethics of AI porn and stuff like that. Um, but <laughs> none of that is, uh, what I'm going to be talking about today because, um, what, what instead is going to be discussed is, um, what I found to be a truly deranged, um, take, um, on the, uh, Atrioc situation. This is Kayla Part 42. Um, he's a Twitch streamer, you know, mostly known for speedrunning Final Fantasy VII. Used to watch him all the time back in the day. Um, I started to taper off uh, with regards to watching him, like, uh, around 2020, I would say, for a number of reasons, but those aren't uh, what I'm going to be talking about here. Uh, like I said, um, I'm going to be talking about what he had to say about the Atriac situation. Well, actually, um, we're going to start um, at uh, this point of the video because I feel like it's the most appropriate uh, place to start. I bet somebody's going to post this whole thing. Caleb Hart 42 okay with sexualizing. Okay. Do it. Do it. I dare you. See how many people care. Wish granted. Let's go. I mean, you're, dude, all you're, all you're really doing is just jacking off and you got fucking caught, dude. Okay. Now, for the people who, like Pokemon and the Maya, that's kind of awkward. Okay, so, to, to say that that is awkward is a very huge uh, understatement. Pokemon and Maya uh, had their autonomy violated, okay? Autonomy is the ability to self-govern, to make informed, uncoerced decisions about yourself and what you do with your own body. Pokimane and Maya are not porn stars. They're not triple X rated, you know, porn streamers. They're just regular normal streamers. They didn't choose to have porn be made of them. They didn't give their consent or their likeness to be used in the creation of deep fakes. In other words, they didn't choose to participate in the creation of porn, but porn was made of them anyway. And I can't speak for Atrioc, but for some people, part of why they enjoy deepfake porn is specifically because they're violating the autonomy of people who don't make pornography but have porn made of them anyway. Now, some people might argue that because this porn isn't real or that these people weren't actually raped, that they shouldn't be upset by it. It doesn't matter whether or not if it actually happened because, like I said, these people didn't give their consent to be used in the creation of deepfake porn. Think about it like this. If someone asks you to do a photo shoot and you say no, but the people just wanted you for the photo shoot so badly that they deepfake your face into the photos anyway, now you have photos of yourself that you didn't consent to and they didn't have to pay you for it because you didn't actually do the photo shoot. Do you really think that's okay? Do you think that's acceptable? Do you? And I guess this guy has created like a really big safe space for, I, I he created like a, a really big safe space for like, for women in his community. So they're like, you know, he's very against like, you know, sexual So I mean, as you should be, but like really, he really did like a, a huge, um, you know, movement towards that. So he cried like during his apology because he it just he, it I guess because like whenever he got caught he felt really fucking bad and it kind of goes against like what he created but it really doesn't 
Because everybody masturbates. Okay. So we're off to a bad start, you know, already here. Um, you know, this is just a quick aside, but, but having a safe space for women has nothing to do with masturbation. And this is an early demonstration of what he doesn't understand here. Um, it's, it's about to get really bad here in, in a second. So, yeah, prepare yourself. Pokimane recently put out a tweet, I think it was like today, she said, Stop sexualizing other people without their consent. That's the tweet. That's it. AKA, stop masturbating. You may as well just have said that. You may as well have just said, Hey guys, quit masturbating. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now. That is the shittiest tweet. It's a fucking L tweet. It's shit. It's horrible. Remove it. It's stupid. You look dumb saying that shit. Because I know for a fact that you got caught three or four years ago with the fucking Pornhub tab open and you freaked out about it and you and it was on stream too. She got caught. She got caught. And guess what? Two day ban. Nothing. No. Two day ban. It's okay. What were you doing? You're watching porn sexualizing somebody because that's what people do we sexualize people okay okay so there's a lot to unpack there in the first place um what he's saying uh pokimane's tweet said is a deliberate misinterpretation of what she actually said to make it seem like it's worse than it actually is so this should be obvious but sexualizing people and masturbating are two completely separate things People often do masturbate to those who are sexualized, but masturbating to something or someone doesn't require them to be sexualized. In fact, there are a lot of fetishes that involve masturbating to things that aren't sexual. So, the fact that Caleb seems to think stop sexualizing stop sexualizing people without their consent, without their consent, by the way, means stop masturbating really exposes how he thinks about masturbation and sexualization of people. This is a completely nonsensical response. What Pokey said and what he thinks he said are two completely different statements that have nothing to do with each other. I don't know how he got this meaning from what she said, but again, you know, the fact that he thinks that these two statements mean the same thing exposes what he thinks about them. And um, I didn't realize this uh, at, at first uh, when I watched the stream, but um, so this is where the misunderstanding uh, comes from. People who participate in pornography um, aren't being sexualized by the people watching the porn. Some of them might, but for the most part, they're being sexualized by themselves and by the producers of that porn. In other words, it's being done consensually, or at least I hope it is, and uh, deep fake and AI porn is not made with the consent of the people that the porn is being made of, which is exactly what the problem with what Atriot did. But Caleb is so obsessed with this perceived hypocrisy, perceived because it's not an actual hypocrisy, and I'll get to that. But he's so obsessed with this perceived hypocrisy by Pokimane that he's missing what the actual issue is here. Now, here's the difference. This is the difference. People sexualize people every day without their consent. And he says this like, you know, he says this like it's, um, a normal thing and that's perfectly okay to do and that people should just the people that happens to should just accept that it happens you know it's kind of a bad connotation whenever you say without their consent because it makes it seem like it's a bad thing to do there you go okay so not only confirming what i just said but um he is also justifying doing things without people's consent because Apparently, he thinks that everybody who says something was done without their consent is just lying. I'm not sure what point he's trying to make here. And also, notice how he doesn't explain how doing something without a person's consent is good, apparently. Yeah, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what, what, what point he's trying to make there. What is bad is whenever you start sexualizing somebody without their consent, but then... Oh, he's not even going to elaborate on what he meant by that. Uh, uh, okay. You also, th then you get up and like, you try to go after this person without their consent. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. This is where things really go off the rails, okay? Sexualizing people without their consent and criticizing people have nothing to do with each other. Apparently, he thinks people shouldn't criticize others without their approval first, which, you know, if that were the case, then I guarantee you 99% of people would never allow themselves to be criticized. Not to mention, if you need someone's approval to criticize them, you don't have freedom of speech. And I don't think I need to say this, but freedom of speech is good, actually. The difference between countries where you can only criticize the government and, you know, without their approval and the United States is that you can say whatever you want about the government without having to worry about getting their approval first or going to jail for it. But Caleb apparently doesn't believe in freedom of speech because he thinks you should only be able to criticize people when you have their approval first. Not to mention, he's doing the exact same thing that he's criticizing for her right now. He is criticizing Pokimane without her consent. Now here's the thing, this is, an, this is a potential argument that somebody could make if you're a fucking idiot. Well, let's say you were to do that, right? Let's say you were to do that. Let's say, you know, you were to go up to somebody and be like, hey, is it okay if I masturbate to you? Now, most people would probably say, hell no, don't do that. Don't fucking tell me that. Don't think, and then their entire opinion shifts about you then this person be like well if 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 you were to go and tell them that or ask them that question and they were to say no then you shouldn't do it in the first place so again she didn't say that you know what, what pokemane said and what he's interpreting as to what she said completely different things yeah and we're not robots that's not how the human brain fucking works. We have we have something called primal instinct. It's equipped. It's in our it's in our brains. Okay, so um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure um, what he means by that. It, it's a little bit unclear to me. But what is being implied there is uh, really bad. But I saw that kind of like before I went live, and I, that that just pissed me off. Stop sexualizing people without consent. What you're, what, what that means is you want people to stop masturbating despite the fact that you do it. So I already explained, you know, why what she said doesn't mean what he thinks she said in depth earlier. You, you know, you could just go back and watch what I said earlier if you need that explanation. You know, <laughs> it's like, it's like the, that, that tweet that goes around every so often, you know, that I like pancakes Oh, so that means you hate waffles tweet, you know, he, he complains about people on Twitter misinterpreting what, what, what other people say all the time. But here he is doing the same shit, you know, stop sexualizing people without their consent doesn't mean stop masturbating altogether. Those are two completely different sentences. Not to mention, why is he so angry about this? Obviously, he's angry about this because he thinks she's being a hypocrite. But even if she was. Why be this angry about it? Let's let's say she actually did say stop masturbating and is being a hypocrite here. Why is this worth getting this angry over? You know, he's not being mad about somebody being killed or raped or something bad happening to somebody close to him. He's being this mad about a statement that he misunderstood and disagrees with. And also, uh, keep in mind, he's getting mad at the victims in this situation. You know, he's not getting mad at that, you know, Atrioc for, you know, buying or making or whatever it is that he did, you know, you know, buying deep fake porn or anything of that. No, he's getting mad at the actual deep fake victims. Okay? This is pure victim blaming that's going on right here. Oh, it's 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 major hypocrisy. No, it isn't. <laughs> like I already said, what, what, what Pokimane said and, and what he is interpreting what she said are, are two completely different statements and I already explained, no need to go into it again. If you're, in a, if you're a public persona, you are going to be sexualized with or without your consent, inevitably. And, and that, is an, that is a fact, it is inevitable, 
It's... And again, he's saying this like um, it's just, you know, something that people that it happens to should just accept and, you know, like it's perfectly normal and everything like that. I mean, maybe it's a bad analogy, but, you know, it's like a woman with huge titties wearing a very low cut shirt and then getting mad at a dude staring at him. Doesn't make sense. You don't want people staring at your titties. Maybe con uh, conceal them. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So, yeah, that's... Wow. That is dangerously close to rape apologia right there. In fact, it's the same, the exact same defense that rapists use to justify raping somebody. If she didn't want to be raped, she shouldn't have been wearing that outfit. And I know being stared at isn't the same thing as being raped, but it's the same line of logic. How women choose to present themselves isn't tied to how they should be treated, you know. A woman wearing a skimpy outfit isn't them giving consent, and if you think you're entitled to a woman's body because of how she chooses to present herself, then you're at the very least thinking like a rapist. And I really shouldn't need to explain why rape is bad. You know, if a person needs to be explained to them why rape is bad, then they are already, you know, too far gone. And, and you know, just looking at, I don't watch Pokemon mainstreams or anything like that. I don't know what she does. I don't know, you know, how she got big or whatever. I don't really know anything about her. But talking about Pokemon specifically, she doesn't, from what I've seen anyway, she doesn't really dress all that skimpy, you know. I did a quick Google search, you know, before uh, starting the stream and, you know, out of the like 35 images that I saw, and yes, I counted, um, there was only like four of them where, you know, she was wearing something that could be considered to be like revealing or, or sexualized or something. I, I, I'll give you uh, an example, uh, something to, to, to act as a frame of reference, uh, so, so to speak. Okay, so this is Alex from the game Half-Life 2. Pretty sure most people who play video games know who she is because most people have played Half-Life 2. You know, she, she's basically dressed like, you know, how any normal person would dress. No, nothing too fancy or revealing or, or anything like that. And uh, here's what a, uh, one of the mods um, for Half-Life 2 uh, makes her look like. Now, is this outfit um, more sexualized than, um, you know, what what she normally wears in the vanilla game yes but it's still basically just regular clothing you know what i mean it, it's only more sexualized when compared to uh her original outfit so you know this is basically um what i what i think of um what, when i describe uh, the, the way pokemon dresses um you know she may it may be a more sexualized than what normal people wear, but it's not, you know, deliberately over the top or, you know, completely, you know, sexualized, you know, like, like she doesn't dress like a porn star is what I'm trying to say here. So, you know, even that is, is you know, it's kind of an unfair comparison and, and doesn't really, you know, a apply here. I bet somebody's going to post this whole thing. Caleb Hart 42 okay with sexualizing. Okay. Do it. Do it. I dare you. See how many people care. Like I said, he's giving his wish now. So let's hope for his sake that he, he doesn't end up regretting saying that. You got 110k views? Oh, okay. Thanks for the exposure. Nice. All right. And this is where we, we can pretty much stop watching because uh, I don't have anything else to say. Um, about, um, like, like he pretty much just, you know, that, that's where he stops talking about the whole thing, and so that's where we can end there. Obviously, he seems to think that, um, you know, all publicity is good publicity, or at the very least, there's no such thing as bad publicity. At this point, you know, th there's really not, not much else to say besides everything that I've already said up to this point. Honestly, even after this, I... I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, it really seems like that there is no um, going back for him. So, you know, if anybody who, who is, you know, a fan of Trihex or Majin Phil or Maximilian Dude, you know, any one of Caleb's streamer friends is watching this, then I suggest to you that you inform him, inform them about this because 
if there is anybody, if there's any hope for Caleb to redeem himself, and if there's anybody that can get through to him, it's his friends and family. And if even they cannot get through to him, then there is absolutely no hope for him for redemption whatsoever. And we should stop giving him the benefit of the doubt and treat him like the piece of shit he is making every effort to make himself seem like he is.